My dear child, I have engraved your name upon the very fabric of my hands, and this is an eternal covenant. Nothing in the world could ever scrape off or corrode this sacred inscription, for you are my cherished, blood-bought possession. The act of engraving upon precious metals is a practice that is meant to be everlasting. However, as the sands of time wear upon these etchings, sometimes these objects are lost or stolen or melted down. So place first things first, my beloved. Precious metals like gold and silver possess some value in this world, but they are as worthless as dust compared to the surpassing magnificence of knowing me for all eternity. Since your name is etched upon the palms of my hands, rest assured that you are ever present in my thoughts. People sometimes jot notes upon their hands to remind themselves of something significant. I, on the other hand, have engraved your name upon my palms because you are eternally precious to me. Rejoice in the wonder of knowing that I, the sovereign of the universe, deem you a priceless treasure. Respond by treasuring me above all else. Trust in me and let not fear find a dwelling within you. Do not be disheartened by the happenings of the world or the reports of the news. These reports are partial presented as though I do not exist. Newsreels showcase mere fragments of worldly events, deliberately excluding the most vital factor, my presence in the world. As journalists sift through an ocean of information, they strain out everything related to me and the mighty work I am accomplishing on this earth. Whenever the world around you feels like a daunting place, turn to me, and find solace in my presence. Follow the example of David, who found strength in the Lord when his companions threatened to stone him. You too can summon courage by remembering who I am. Contemplate my awe-inspiring glory and boundless power. Take delight in my unending love. Rejoice in the knowledge that you are embarked on an adventurous journey with me and your ultimate destination is heaven. As you keep your gaze fixed upon me and embrace the deep relationship I offer you, fear will recede and joy will surge within you. Trust in me wholeheartedly, beloved, for I am your strength and your song. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. Thus, do not despise your tears, my child. They are precious to me. Someday I shall wipe every tear from your eyes, but for now you dwell in a veil of tears. Just as water is essential for seeds to flourish into mighty trees, your tears nourish your growth into a resilient, more joyful follower of Christ. Your willingness to share in the sorrows of this deeply fallen world grants you depth and compassion. It also enlarges your capacity for joy your ability to revel in my presence in both good times and trying times. Songs of joy have been your birthright ever since you embraced me as your savior. Do not neglect this delightful form of worshiping me and uplifting your spirit. Even when sadness clouds your heart, singing praises is a potent way to elevate your soul to me. As your joy in me encounters my delight in you, you can dance in the radiance of my presence. This is the joy of the Lord. Every single blessing you possess is a gift from my hand, including each breath you draw. I lavish countless blessings upon you, so many that you often take some of my precious gifts for granted. Most people fail to recognize the miracle of inhaling my life continuously. Yet it was only when I breathed the breath of life into Adam that he became a living soul. As you sit serenely in my presence, whisper your gratitude to me with every inhalation. As you exhale, reaffirm your trust in me. The longer you practice this, the more profound your sense of relaxation will become. While you spend time with me, 
I help you to appreciate and thank me for the blessings that often go unnoticed. The boundless sky, majestic trees, radiant light, and a vibrant palette of colors, cherished loved ones, and everyday comforts. The list is endless. The more you search for the goodness in your life, the sharper your vision becomes. Of course, your deepest gratitude should be reserved for eternal life, which is yours because of your unwavering belief in me. This is an incomparable, everlasting gift that fills your heart with ever-increasing joy in my presence. I am richly woven into the world around you, within the pages of my word, and within your heart through my spirit. Beseech me to open the eyes of your heart so that you may truly see me, for I am tenderly present in every moment of your life. It is crucial to set aside dedicated moments to seek my face. This calls for unwavering mental discipline, redirecting your thoughts from the allure of worldly idols and choosing to meditate upon me. I am the living word, so when you search for me within the scriptures, you will discover my vibrant presence. I fashioned breathtaking beauty in the world to direct your gaze toward the one who crafted all things. Without me, not a single thing was created. Whenever you encounter something beautiful, take a moment to offer thanks. This delights my heart and amplifies your own pleasure. Even when confronted with adversity and ugliness in this fractured world, continue to trust me. Keep seeking me in both the grand and the mundane moments of your life. Find hope and solace in knowing that all your days are firmly held within my loving hands. If I am on your side, who can stand against you? It is crucial for you to grasp that I am unequivocally on your side. This is a promise for all who follow me. When circumstances seem adverse and those you trusted turn against you, it may appear as if I have forsaken you. In those moments, it is paramount to remind yourself of the unassailable truth. I am not only with you always, but I am also unfailingly for you. This holds true on days of triumph and days of defeat, when people treat you kindly and when they do not. When you genuinely comprehend and fully believe that I am on your side, fear will diminish and you will face adversity with unwavering composure. Knowing that I will never turn against you grants you the courage to persevere in the face of trials. Remember this, beloved. I approve of you because you belong to me. My assessment of you prevails and will endure throughout eternity. Neither person nor circumstance will ever separate you from my boundless love. Refuse to be consumed by worry, my cherished one. Replace those anxious thoughts with trust and gratitude. Declare your faith in me while offering praise for all that I am and all that I have done. This blend of adoration and trust is potent. It dispels anxiety and the forces of darkness. Furthermore, it deepens your connection with me. While legitimate concerns may still be present, I will assist you in navigating them. As you cultivate peace, you will be able to view your challenges in the radiant light of my presence and seek my guidance. Allow scripture to shape your thoughts, enabling me to communicate with you with greater clarity. Take the time to express gratitude for the many blessings in your life. I want you to convey your thankfulness in your prayers, in your conversations with others, and in your innermost thoughts. I continually hear your thoughts and I rejoice when they contain gratitude. You can even thank me for things you wish were different. This act of faith frees you from the grip of negativity. In everything, give thanks. This is my will for you. I am renewing the attitude of your mind, making you new. Living in close communion with me entails embracing change and newness. I am in the process of transforming you through the complete renewal of your mind. This is an extensive endeavor. You will be under construction until the day you meet me face to face. Yet unlike the lifeless materials used to construct buildings, you are living, breathing, 
thinking material. I have endowed you with the remarkable capacity to reason and make choices. I want you to employ this divine gift to cooperate with me as I mold you. This necessitates shedding your old self, your former way of thinking and behaving, and donning the new self. To make wise, godly choices, you must come to know me as I truly am. Seek me within my word and invite my spirit to illuminate it, bringing forth its truths in vivid clarity. The more you choose to align your life with my will, the more you will resemble me and the more you will relish walking in the light of my presence. Remember, your true citizenship lies in heaven. One day I will transform your humble earthly body into one that mirrors my glorious form. You will have all eternity to bask in your perfected, glorified body. Thus, do not become overly preoccupied with your current physical condition. Many of my followers cling tenaciously to their earthly lives, even when they stand at the very threshold of paradise. Yet, once they release their grip and pass through the ethereal veil into heaven, they experience an ecstatic joy that surpasses all imagination. Rest assured, your times are in my hands. I have orchestrated all your days, and I know precisely how many you have left. Because your body is a sanctuary of the Holy Spirit, I anticipate that you will take good care of it. However, I do not want you to obsess over its condition. This can foster anxiety and divert your attention from my presence. Instead, receive each day as a precious gift from me. Seek the joys and responsibilities that I have placed upon your path. Take hold of my hand in joyful trust, for I am ever beside you. Whenever sorrow grips your heart, I want you to anticipate the return of joy. This perspective lessens the sting of your grief, for you recognize that it is but a passing cloud. Sorrow has a tendency to cast its shadow over the timeline, convincing you that you will remain unhappy indefinitely. However, this is a falsehood. The truth is that all my followers have an infinite wellspring of joy ahead of them, guaranteed throughout eternity. No one can rob you of this inheritance. Your journey through this world is replete with peaks and valleys. The low points can be arduous, but they serve a profound purpose. Pain and adversity help you transform and grow stronger as you place your trust in me. Your trials are akin to a woman enduring the pains of childbirth. Her suffering is very real, and at times, she may wonder how much more she can bear. However, through this grueling travail emerges a wondrous miracle, a newborn life. As you labor through your earthly struggles, keep your eyes fixed on the promised reward. Boundless joy in heaven. Even now you can grow more aware of my presence where there is fullness of joy. I reside within you. I am everything you could ever need in a Savior God, and I am alive within your very being. I fill you with radiant life and boundless love. My desire is for my life within you to overflow and touch the lives of others. As you interact with them, invite me to live and love through you. When you collaborate with me in this way, my light will radiate from your countenance and my love will grace your words. You are complete in me. Everything essential for your salvation and spiritual growth is found in me. Through my divine power, you possess all that is required to endure in the eternal life I have granted you. I also grant you intimate knowledge of me. I invite you to open your heart and share with me at the deepest levels your struggles and your delights alike. Find your rest in my finished work upon the cross and rejoice in the security you have in me. Experience profound soul satisfaction through knowing me, your loving Savior and eternal friend. Do not fret over the prosperity of the wicked or their evil schemes. In this age of instant communication, 
you have access to a wealth of information and news that can easily overwhelm you. Not only do you hear about wicked people and their malevolent plots, but you also witness the graphic details. These images leave a powerful imprint on your mind. A steady diet of such darkness can breed anxiety and fear. I urge you to pray about global events and seek peace where you can. Nonetheless, it is vital to discern what you can change and what is beyond your control. Worrying about matters outside your sphere of influence will deplete your energy and discourage you. Instead of dwelling on these distressing matters, endeavor to fix your thoughts up on me. I am with you, and I am for you. Find your delight in me. Remember that I am a God of justice and I see all. In due time, I will rectify all wrongs. So be still in my presence. Place your trust in me with a steadfast heart, while patiently awaiting my intervention. Amen.